Number one, the need for speed. I once did a wedding where the wedding car was driving about 200 k's an hour on, on its way to the church. I was following right behind them and obviously they dropped me. Everybody had to wait for me at the wedding. The other side of the coin is that you don't want a car that's too slow. If you have to drive 30 kilometers, there's no point in your car driving at 30 kilometers. It'll take just too long. So keep that in mind in choosing your wedding car. Number two. A nice way to actually involve the groom's dad is to maybe get him to drive the wedding car. He's the only guy at the wedding just hanging around, not doing much, and it actually gives him something to do, especially if he's a bit of a Top Gear fan. Number three, if the wedding car is yours, please don't put black polish on the wheels. I know you want the, the, the car to look really nice, but we don't want black marks on the wedding dress. Number four, GPS coordinates, directions is really handy. Please remember to give that to the driver of the car beforehand. Number five, it's always a good idea to have some refreshments in the car, especially if you've got a long drive ahead. And finally, number six, a playlist. The ultimate road trip playlist. That's what you want to have on your wedding day. Make the list, put it on your iPhone, groove along. Guys, enjoy your wedding car, and please check out the rest of my wedding tips on my website, my Facebook page, or in the post, or written on the post. Thank you.